Uh, with regard to the weather, and I would like to take a deep dive on this with you tomorrow, Matt. And Andrew can build some graphics, and we can put together some really interesting stuff for tomorrow so we can take a much closer look at it. But Augusta right now, uh, the Augusta National Area is scheduled to get a ridiculous amount of rain right before the first tee ball. And to get to be a little bit more specific, from sort of like overnight, 12, 1 a.m., up until right around the first tee ball, which is traditionally about 8 o'clock on the dot, roughly. We'll see where it ends up. But they're looking at over an inch of rain in that, you know, five, six-hour period, and wind gusts sustained over 25 miles an hour that entire time. So by the time they tee off, it will have just literally just got about an inch of rain on Thursday. Now, it is supposed to rain a little bit during play on Thursday, especially on the front half of the morning wave tee times. So I don't know how that's going to affect things. We can we can talk we can talk really in depth about when that is tomorrow. The, Dom, when is the rain currently showing that it's going to end? The the heavy rain. The heavy rain will stop at eight a.m., but it's going to be sort of intermittently raining still after that time period. Which and is they're okay. supposed it's, to get. I'm just talking about yeah, standing they're supposed water. To get, if it's a deluge, even even the the sub air can't keep up with all that and the drainage. So the, the de- I think the deluge is going to happen just you know for several hours leading up to the first tee ball. Now, th- again, this could change, but this is what this is what it's looking like right now. But it is going to get. I mean, it looks like, for example, around eleven o'clock ish, they're going to get another quarter inch of rain. So they're going to get dumped on again after a couple hours. Right now. So, so and then you know the rest re- of the day. Rough. Thursday is going to be especially in the morning odd, but for the guys who are teeing off like after 1 p.m., it is clear sailing with no issues. And temperatures, we're talking about, you know, mid to high 70s. So at that point in the round. And what about the so rest I, of the again, week? Are you, do you have uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday projected? Uh, yes, I do have projected. Uh, Friday, it is windy, very, very windy, rain and beautiful weather. We're talking about temperatures probably in the range of, 70, be about 70. Saturday, again, mid 70s. Sunday, it could get, by the time they're finishing up, it's going to be in the 80s. But Friday, there are wind gusts that will reach into the 30s right now on the schedule, uh, you know, according to this. Um, those are not sustained winds, but gusts that could get over 30. And then on Saturday, the gusts are going to hit in the 20s. And Sunday is going to be the most docile right now where you might have gusts, you know, in the teens, but realistically the winds will be, you know, docile and the temperatures will be in the mid to high 70s. So Sunday is going to be flawless. Friday was, I would say Friday is going to be windy and Thursday will be rainy. So all I don't right, know well, how you want to define all that, but there's plenty to discuss there. Yeah, and that is something we'll discuss as the week continues to progress because we'll have a better picture of what actually is going to happen as we get closer and closer to it. As to what's going to happen on the grounds of Augusta National today and tomorrow, let's pull up the presser schedule because it is very busy as people are coming in to address the media. Today, there you see Brian Harmon, uh, Subs De La Fuente, Matsuyama, Shoffley at 3.30, and then Akshay has just been added. Overnight, we got an update on the press conference schedule from uh, Augusta National. Tomorrow at 9.30 a.m., be Hovlin at 10 a.m., the defending champion. 11 a.m. will be Tiger Woods. Rory at 12.30. Ludwig uh, is at 1. Clark is at 1.30. Jordan Spieth, you can see, at 2.30. Scotty Scheffler at 3. And Brooks Kepka at 3.30. Just leave those up there for a second, Andrew, because it, it's compelling to, to look at, particularly to me, what's going on a Tuesday. Because Hovland played well last year. I, I, he's been kind of quiet this year, in fairness, but John Rahm is John Rahm. You just heard him talking about it. Uh, Tiger Woods at 11 a.m., I expect the same thing that we've gotten from Tiger all the time. Tiger's going to come in, and they're going to be like, Tiger, uh, are you just glad to be here? Is it a ceremonial thing? And Tiger's like, I'm here to win. I'm only here to win. And then, you know, Tiger struggles and, and the press is like, oh, you said you were here to win. He's like, guys, what do you want me to do? Uh, Rory at 1230. Again, right now, I don't know. I, I just, I, I don't know about you guys. Maybe you feel differently than I do. I'm just not feeling it with Rory right now. 
Ludwig, I'm feeling it. Clark, I'm feeling it. I think those two could do well. I think, I think uh, you know, how well they get coached around Augusta National is going to matter. Right? At this point. Jordan Spieth, difference with Jordan coming in this year is coming into this week's, last week's competition at the Valero. He was sixth on tour and putting. That's a different Jordan. When he has that Jordan, when that weapon is working for him, that was his... His greens and regulations and stroke skate approach are not as strong as it have been in the past coming into the Masters. That's that's where concern can be. Scotty's just strong across the board, and it's Brooks. So all that is very, very strong indeed. Recent past champions, just to, to remind you of how and where. Jeez, that, that something just popped in my head too, Dom. When you're talking about uh, Thursday morning, we've got the opening tee shots with Tom Watson and Jack Nicholas and Gary Player. It might be absolutely teaming down on top of them at 8 a.m. Thursday if morning. It's we'll not, see. If there's no lightning, could it rain hard enough for them to postpone that? If there's no lightning, or are they just going to be do a postpone? It? They just wouldn't do it. But uh, I don't know the answer to that. I, I, my, my instinct would tell me yes. Bubba Watson in 12. You see Adam Scott in 13. Bubba again in 14. Jordan in 15. Danny Willett in 16 after Jordan's trouble at 12. Sergio broke through in 17. That was, that was exciting, that, the way that all played out. Uh, Patrick Reed in 18. Tiger in 19. DJ in 20. Hideki in 21. Scotty Scheffler in 22. John Rahm in 23 is the way that it went now. And we're going to show you this. I can promise you, I'm air times is about where we're going to go. I will show it to you and show it to you. And this is out of courtesy and respect to you guys. So you know where. So you guys take us through the schedule that you want. Let's start with digital coverage. Masters on the range starts today at noon. Masters on the range on Tuesday starts at 9 a.m., and then Masters on the Range on Wednesday also starts at 9 a.m. Continuing with the coverage schedule. From Thursday, when we're talking about the rain coming in, Masters on the Range from 8.30 a.m. Featured groups kicks off at 9.15. Amen corner coverage at 10.45. Holes 15 and 16 at 11.45. Masters highlights at 11.35. Dom. With with your with the discussion board on Fairways of Life's YouTube channel, can people send photos in there, or is it is it's not like email, right? It's just it's just uh, messages. Because I would love to see people set up for the Masters. You know what I'm going to do? I'm I'm going to I got every mobile device in the world, wherever I am early, that I'll have set up. I don't know if you can send a picture. Like into a YouTube chat, I don't believe that you can. However, if you go to our website, fairwaysoflife.com, or you could just go this way, you can click on the contact tab, just email contact at fairways of life, contact at fairways of life.com. And uh, those get sent to us at some point in time. So those will those will make our way to us if you and you can put any attachment you want in that. So you can send us as many pictures as you want. And as long as we can get them in time, we could we could show a few people's setups and what That'd they've got going on. What I normally do is I normally have the on the range stuff on my phone. Yeah. And then I have coverage on TV, and then I have a featured group on my laptop. That's traditionally how I do it. So you've got the guys getting ready to tee off, right? And I'll put that like on my laptop like this so I can look at it and listen to them. And then I've got um Featured group coverage on my laptop of said group, and then you've got like more general coverage up top of everything that's going on. Friday's coverage, Masters on the Range starts at 8.30 again. Feature group at 9.15. Amen Corner starts a little earlier, 12.45. I think that was earlier. 15 and 16 at 11.45. Masters highlights at 11.35 p.m. in the evening. As to... Saturday's coverage. Here we go. Roll it in. Masters on the range at 
the left block featured group at 1015, Amen Corner 1145, holes 12 in, or 15 and 16 at 1230. What's that? We need to talk? What is that, Dom? I don't even know what that is. Uh, it's probably in some of the preview materials I got. Stand by. We got so we much need stuff. To I mean, talk they're doing so much Masters stuff. Did you see the, uh, the thing they're doing on... Uh, I don't know when they're airing it. They're they're they're, they're reliving Tiger's Masters. Oh, you, seen that? you know what that is? That's that's. I don't uh, think that's what that is, though. That's yeah, that's else. special programming leading into the live coverage. That's what it is. I thought maybe it was something that was originating on site, but it looks like that's that CBS coverage because they're going over the a the Asia Pacific Amateur Championship. Then they're going to go through highlights, blah blah blah, past. I get it. And then 2024, here's the key thing that you guys want to know. 2024 Masters third round coverage on CBS starts at 3 p.m. The encore coverage is at 8 p.m. So, here's Sundays. 11 a.m. for On the Range. Feature group 1015, same times there, 1145, Amen Corner. 15 to 16, 1230. Highlight show. Special highlight show, Jim Nance is at one, bop, bop. 24, Masters, final round coverage, 2 p.m. on Sunday. And then the encore coverage in the evening. All right, so, and we will go through that. I will continue to do that with you, as folks, so that we're all aware of all of the coverage and where you can get it. And, you know, for years, the complaint about the Masters was that the coverage, the TV coverage just wasn't long enough. But in the digital world we live in now, there's so much coverage. Right. There's a lot of ways to see it. Uh, I, I don't I wouldn't say that I necessarily agree with the, the idea that, you know, coverage should start at 3 p.m. I still would rather see it start at 10 p.m. in earnest. Why not? But at least we have options now in, in a lot of different ways. So uh, anything else you got for me, Dom? You want to go over uh, what the voting is on whether you take Rom? I want to talk about everything forever, but we've got we've got several days to do that. It's at fifty three percent now. People are still going with Rom Brooks and Scheffler. We'll have a chance tomorrow to go more in depth on the odds. We'll do a little bit more uh, uh, focused stuff on the weather. I'd like to plus do a we're going to start start to hear from people. About the golf course, yes, want to hear from the people. Um, I think Michael East is joining us tomorrow from ESPN, who's oh, on cool. site. Our buddy something. Michael. He's doing some of the coverage we're talking about. So there's a lot, there's, there's plenty to go through, and I want to talk about all of it forever. So I get, I get goosebumps when I wake up Monday morning Masters week. I mean, it's, it feels so close. I can taste it. It is. <laughs> it is upon us. The first major of the year on the men's side of the game is literally here. The week is upon us.